Welcome back to Conegliano in Northern Italy for the last of our week two action from the F5VB Volleyball Nations League. We've already had a dramatic start to the day here in the Zoppos Arena. The Dominican Republic with another giant killing performance have beaten the USA 3-2. And on we go with another cracking VNL matchup as Italy take on Serbia. Well, the world champions Serbia are here in Conegliano, minus most of their big guns, but Zoran Terzic's team have done a great job covering the absences, particularly captain Anna Bielica, deputising for superstar Tiana Boscovic and scoring plenty of points in Serbia's 3-1 loss, uh, three, uh, one loss to the USA and 3-1 win against the Dominican Republic. But Serbia know they've got their work cut out today in a rematch of the 2018 World Championship final in which they beat Italy. Well, this is what happened yesterday against the dangerous Dominican Republic. A really strong performance in the end. Bielica leading the way and getting the job done. Cracking final point before they at last got it across the line to get themselves back to winning ways. Impressive youngster, Lazovic with the final kill. Italy arrived at the Zoppos Arena, though, looking for a bit of revenge after that dramatic 3-2 loss in the world title shootout. And coach Davide Mazzanti and knows that his team are back to full strength with the return of Paola Igonu after illness yesterday. Indra Sodakaiti likely to get the start in the opposite spiker position, but the best female player on the planet, Igonu, will be waiting in the wings. This is one of the best Italian teams without doubt for some time, and a win this evening might send this multi-talented Azuri back to the top of the VNL table after that USA loss to the Dominican Republic earlier today. Well, this is what happened yesterday. Annie Drews sorting it out for the Americans and uh, coming to the fore at the back end of that game in the fifth set against Italy. Italy going 2-1 up against Kartkirai's team, but not quite able to get the job done. So that's the results we've had so far in a, a brilliant week here in Italy. And we've got one game left to go, but that uh, confirmation of Dominican Republic's brilliant five-set win over the USA. That's what happened earlier today. This is how it happened. Really good last point as well. And Braylin Martinez with two spikes, one after the other, to side out and then win the game. It was just a superb end. And that means that the Dominican Republic this year so far have beaten Russia, Brazil, and now the VNL reigning champions, the USA, a team that nobody wants to play. An emotional finish for uh, Martinez after a superb performance. 26 points in the game for her. So a little look at the table. Turkey playing well enough to get themselves back to the top alongside USA and Poland. Uh, all that going on the sets ratio. Italy in fourth at the moment, but firmly inside the top five could go back to the top. And remember, the top five joined China at the finals in Nanjing in July. China already qualified courtesy of being the hosts. Well, all smiles at the moment down there with the referees for the coin toss. Bielica in the number 13 shirt, winning the toss and choosing to serve. Thierry uh, Chap, the captain and middle blocker for Italy, saying that her team are happy with the side of the court they're on, so that's where they're going to start. And actually, that end, we're calling the magic end today because all the sets and all the half sets have been won from that particular end that Italy will start at. That's what benefited the Dominican Republic in the end. Final part then of the warm-up underway before the teams go to the baseline for some serving and then we'll be ready to get this uh, match underway. Here's the uh, lineup for Serbia. Lazovic, just 19 years of age, has had a, a good time of it so far. Popovic came into uh, the action yesterday, the middle blocker, but everything really revolving around the captain, number 13, Anna Bielica. And it'll be interesting to see whether uh, Sladjana Merkovic gets the start in the setting position, number eight, or number four, Emilia Antanasiewicz. Uh, right on cue is the number eight. Sladjana Merkovic, 23 years of age now, played second fiddle for a while to a couple of setters, but uh, is a really talented player in her own right, and has proved that so far. Plays a volleyball in Poland for Cemi Kulice in the top division set well, has served well and defended well, and it was really good to see the number 20, Yelena Blagojevic, back on court. He's also in home for the Reshov club, and she had a great game uh, yesterday against the Dominican Republic. Very steady influence out there on court, passes well, and is uh, clever, invents some good shots to side the ball out. 
Cina played very well yesterday. Now then, in terms of uh, Italy, Lucia Bozzetti is going to be underpinning the wing spiking along with the likes of Silla and the youngster, 19-year-old uh, Pietrini, 18, Egonu back in the squad. They could have done with her yesterday in the closing stages against uh, the USA. Di Gennaro has been amazing, the number six in the libero shirt. And then between Oro and Malinov, they've shared the playmaking duties. Silla enjoyed herself yesterday, didn't quite finish off the game. But when she was on fire, boy, was she good. High flying, hard hitting, caused all sorts of problems for Team USA yesterday. And Silla looking to cause problems for Serbia. She might just be a little too hot to handle there out on the wing for the Serbian players. 29 years of age now, every squad needs a player like Lucia Bozzetti. She can do everything. Hasn't quite had the run of things so far in Canegliano. Hasn't quite scored the volume of points she would like to score, but a really steady player that tends to underpin most of the Italian performances and in the squad with uh, her sister, Caterina Bozzetti, also a wing spiker. You may see Caterina coming in for some tactical substitutions at some point in the evening. So there's a couple of players for you to watch here in the Zoppa Serena this evening as we look forward to a rematch from the 2018 World Championship final and what a game that was. Serbia coming out on top but Tiana Boscovic, one of the main players for them, not going to star in tonight's match because she hasn't made the journey here to Italy. Davina Mazzati then pretty happy with yesterday's game didn't get too uh, fired up kept his players on track and nearly got the result they were after that's the USA and, uh, for Zoran Terzic he knows his team are gonna have a lot of pressure this evening I think it's gonna be very difficult for Serbia to come away with a result and Italy at full strength just about and with Igonu back in the ranks they'll be looking to win this one by three sets to nil and return to the top the 2019 VNL table. Here's our two referees then, first official up on the stand, one of the most experienced referees on the world circuit at the moment, Susana Maria Rodriguez of Spain. Very assisted uh, from the floor from Russia, from Leningrad, Evgeny Makshanov. The referee on the FIVB roster since 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Serbia, signore e signori, ci alziamo per l'ino nazionale della Serbia. together and fight Serbia are going to have to do that tonight. And now, the national anthem of the host side, Italy.
the Cantodelli Italiani sounds like it was written for sporting encounters just like this. Fabulous stuff. That's got the crowd going. It's packed here in the Zoppas Arena for what should be another wonderful VNL encounter as the world champions go up against the team they beat last time out by three sets to two. Italy. Well, Serbia have had a good time, a uh, good team for many, many years now, and uh, they do have the upper hand in this fixture, but Italy it just feels to me like they are on the way back. And they've dominated uh, European volleyball in terms of a club sense this season, winning the, both the men's and women's champions leagues. And now, with this Italian side, I think a lot of people feel they can go all the way to Olympic gold in Tokyo. First, though, let's meet the Serbian side that will be starting this match. Out on court, uh, Lasevic. She's been pretty good, actually. Bianca Busa, who's been rested for a day, is back in action. So that's the two wing spikers. Popovic, impressive yesterday. She's going to have to be uh, really good tonight. Merkovic, the playmaker. Popovic, incidentally, through the middle as a blocker. And then Anna Bielica, the captain, the glue that holds this team together, their top scorer in the opposite position. Finally, another impressive middle player, Aleksic. And Puzic in the libero position in the different coloured shirt. Passed well, her defence has been spectacular here in Italy. Really enjoyed watching her play. So that's the lineup for Serbia. Let's see how that stacks up on court. So, right, Guse and Lazovic through the wings. Popovic and Aleksic through the middle. And then Mirkovic, the playmaker, with the opposite spiker. Bielica on court as well. Puzic. The foundation for the pass of defense. Italy now then taken to the floor. Been fascinated to see who is going to start for Davide Mazzanti tonight. Malinov is going to set. Captain through the middle. Ciricella. Bozzetti going to be wing spiker and part of the passing unit. Silla will be the other wing spiker. He's going with power then through the wings. And he's going with Paola Igonu, I think, to start this match. Oh, yes, there she is. The number 18 is out on court. Alberti through the middle as well. That's a really talented lineup with a very talented bench still to come. And Mazzanti has gone with power. He's hoping that Bozzetti, Silla, and in particular Egonu are going to blow this Serbian team away. Malinov, the playmaker, Ciricella, and Alberti, two talented high jumping middle blockers. Zoran Terzic then keeping his cards close to his chest as usual. We're still waiting for our first smile of the week. There it is. Wonderful stuff from Terzic. David Mazzanti never stops smiling, but I don't think you would. If you were in charge of a team like this, you'd be smiling all the way. Two teams then to save a, a match to really look forward to here in Conegliano as week two of the VNL comes to a close with a rematch from the 2018 World Championships. That's it then, formality's over. Time now to let the volleyball do the talking as it always does on the VNL. Lazovic and Serbia with the serve in set one. Serbia versus Italy, here we go. Starts with an overpass, well dispatched. Busha next to Popovic and Bielica in that lineup. That's a really good front line for Serbia. A very nice serve from Lasovic to put the first point on the board. Listen to that from the crowd. Basically, just waiting for the first spike, I think, from uh, Igonu. For the roof to come off, but instead, Malinov going to Bozzetti, and Bozzetti stepping on the three meter line from that backcourt position, so a fault to love Serbia. Not a great pass from Bozzetti, Egonu first swing in anger, great hit, great pickup from Bielica. Oh, 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 my goodness me! And the game has started for the Azuri with an unbelievable hit. Super spike from Miriam Silla. Phenomenal hit. Italy on the scoreboard.
Alberti with the serve. Great chance again, Malinov, Bozzetti from the back line, this time gets it right. And went with the power tip. Instead of the spike, he just caught Pusic out. She was running in to dig the short ball. And that's very well done for Bozzetti. Scores level, 25 points the target, a serve. Italy flying now. First ace of the match goes to Alberti, the Italian middle blocker in the number two shirt. Popovic stopped by Ciricella. Oh, Ciricella's got a monster block. Oh, Bielica. Well, it's a tough thing to do as a middle blocker. You're travelling one way and you've got to drop your arms over the net and stop the diagonal. Oh, she's done that brilliantly. That's fantastic from the Italian captain, shutting down her opposite number. Alberti. What a response to going 2-0 down by this Italian side. Ah, Nagonu. Just missing out on a second monster block. Just a reminder there of what she's capable of. Huge jump. Touches three metres and 21 on a block alone. 3.44 on the spike. She is a volleyball phenomenon in the number 18 shirt for Italy. Just going back to the service line as Popovic misses. Serbia just a little unsettled here. Now, Gonu has a great jump float serve, but she's also got a very powerful topspin serve, which is what she's using into the net. <laughs> Definitive news on what kept her out of the game yesterday, just that she was uh, suffering illness. <laughs> the crowd were just beside themselves. They wanted to see Gonu versus the USA, but it didn't happen. seen that one cameo from her when Italy needed Anigonu at the back end of the match against Dominican Republic. She came on and hit the most incredible run of spikes. Here's another one. How about that? Chiara Chiara. Italian captains made a belting start to this game. Serbia, missing a serve. Busa back at the service line. Played well on day one, but got rested on day two. Ligojevic was the player that came in for her, who I thought we would see on court tonight to start with, but Ligojevic in the wings, so we might see the 30-year-old wing spiker at some point. Great block. And Goni looks just a little out of sorts at the moment. Decent pass from Silla, quick to Bozzetti. It's a play that she and Malinov love to run. Super, super quick to the outside. Good kill from Lucia Pozzetti. Had a few problems in Montreux when the Italian squad went to play in Switzerland in the warm-up for the international summer season and uh, just had a problem with her hamstring, but seems to be over that here. Good set, Bielitsa. Stopped again, this is tight. Razovic can't put it away. Malinov, wide and quick to Bozzetti again, off pace. Great kill. That'll settle the Serbian captain down. Bielica puts the first point on the board. Stuff from Serbia. Another ace serve. They make it to the technical timeout, having recovered very nicely. Right down between Bozzetti and Silla. Oh, 
the telly presenter might be happy with Silla for that. As technical timeout then arrives, Serbia with their noses in front. Well, he's achieved great things, Zoran Terzic, with his Serbian team. Elena Razic and uh, Tiana Boscovic, not here. Of deputies very well indeed. No Anna Antonievich as well in the setting position. No Stefania Velkovic, no Bojana Milenkovic, and no Sylvia Popovic in the libero position. So this really is a second string Serbian lineup. Comparison to the team that won the world championships. Not playing like it now, are they? Another great spike from the teenager. You don't get into your senior squad as a junior unless you're really talented, and Lasovic has been around for a little while now. Still got some development to come. It looks to be the real deal. Alexic to serve. Good serve. Caught Silla badly there. Silla moving out of the way, thinking this was going out, then realised it was dropping in. Threw her arms at it, shanked it. Third ace serve for this Serbian team. Let's move though, that ball. Well, Italy bought Pietrini, the 19-year-old in their squad, into the match uh, against the USA, and what an impression she made. Great start from the surface line and then just hammering away in the front court with the spikes. And she passed pretty well as well. So Pietrini is an option. She may come in for Silla like she did yesterday at some point. And Italy chasing this first set. Another poor pass from Rossetti. Free ball. It's all calmed down now, isn't it? And Serbia doing the right thing here, just silencing the crowd in the Zopas Arena. Another lovely shot from Lazovic. The fingers of Alberti. Good player, Alberti, but he's not that big. So it doesn't get that high in front court. It's always a target. Sinner's lost her place far sooner than expected and has been replaced in the back line by Parocchiali, who normally plays as libero, but she's got the normal playing shirt on today. Not that tall, but she's actually a pretty handy wing spiker, but I don't think we'll see her operating in the front court. So Silla, I'm sure, will come back in the front line. That's purely to bring Parocchiali on to pass. Malamov, she has a decent jump serve. Goni now in the front line again. Great defence from Di Gennaro. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness me! <laughs> it, it doesn't get steeper than that. That nearly came back under the net onto the Italian side of the court. And a monster block from Egonu. That's wonderful stuff. Just look how high over the net she is. That's incredible. Tip. Well picked up, Gennaro. Oh, that's a great piece of work from Albertini. Lasovic has to tip because she knows she can't get past Igonu. Free ball. Igonu tidies up. Rossetti not made the best start to this set. And neither has Silla. Igonu blasts it way out of court. Well, mega rally. Not quite the finish we were looking for, but some really tasty pickups in there, in particular Di Gennaro. She is everywhere for Italy. Phenomenal 
fly. But Donnick just gets it all wrong. Going for the hands, misses everything. Milkovic to serve, good front line for Serbia now for three rotations. Good pass to Gennaro. Bezzetti, off of uh, Lasovic and Popovic now. Poor serve from Mirkovic, she's just served it straight at the Italian Libero, who's going to pass all day. Keep it on, Bezzetti. Probably Porocchiali, although Silla now back on court for Porocchiali in the front line. So that's the last we'll see of the... Backup Libero. Silla will have to stay on court now, and that means there's no substitution option for Pietrini to come in. Timeout Zod and Terzic, seeing enough of uh, the momentum swing back to Italy to decide to stop it for 30 seconds here. He's listening intently. So he says he's just having a word with Mirkovic, his last parting shot as the setter went back on court. And I'm pretty sure that was to say, what well, why did you serve it? Did you know? One point game. Good. Great work through the middle. Serbia, and just like Italy, are very good at establishing the middle channel, and Popovic is a vital part of that. Look at the height Popovic gets. And then, just pops it off of Alberti's block. Good piece of hitting. Masovic. Good pass from Bozzetti, that's better. Not so good, though, in the middle for Italy this time. And a very, very good kill from Busha. I'm surprised we didn't see her in action yesterday, the number one. 23 years of age, plays uh, volleyball in Poland. Cevic Polici, 4.1 kilometers per hour. So, not a flat-out spike, more of a guided power hit. There we go, back in business. Super spike from her. From the World Championship MVP and top scorer. So MVP'd in the Champions League. 93.9 kilometers per hour. Scored a phenomenal 325 points at the World Championships. What was she? But it's not, it's not just raw power. She's gone up and hit the diagonal. Great shot. Next ball knows that Serbia are defending that particular angle. Goes up, hits the line. Good setting choice from Malinov and good distribution from her. It was a little bit shaky against the USA yesterday, Malinov and Oro. Quite find a regular rhythm. A really nice shot. Popovic running hard in the middle. She was good yesterday against the uh, Dominican Republic, and she started this match very well. Popovic to serve. Good pass, Silla. That's just easy. It's just all day for Agoni. It's almost effortless, but that ball is travelling so fast and so steep. Another super spike from Igonin. 100 kilometers per hour. Oh, wow. We're seeing it all already. And a nice serve to follow. I think Paolo Rigonu is going to wear our graphics out today. Fantastic stuff. And after a slightly shaky start, Paolo Rigonu is hurting Serbia.
Whoa, what a hit. Great pass as well, and Busha sorts it out. That's a really good play from Serbia. And that's what it can be like at this level sometimes. It is on the edge of the envelope. Second technical timeout comes around. This is a very good game indeed. Volleyball pretty well in Italy. I think we're in for a real treat over the next couple of hours. Gone it. Right on top of her game, I said. Best player on the planet at the moment. Without doubt. Five points already to her name. Good dig. Brilliant from Pusic. What a play. Oh, still in control for Italy. Iconu again. Don't want to overuse her here. And that's brilliant from Serbia. That's astonishing. It was that dig from Pusic that set it all up because that was hit very hard. And the libero gets it into play but got it right on the setter's head. And then Lasovic running. From the back line, gets the deflection past Bozzetti. Silla. Oh, dear me. Well, I'm afraid Silla has revealed herself as a service target for Serbia. And they're going to keep going hard after her timeout. Davide Mazzanti after that ace. Three point lead restored for Serbia in set one. They're playing very well. the last ace, poor movement from Silla as that ball dropped. Just came off the uh, the wrists and the hands. Flew past Malin off the setter. Yes, playing very well. Serbia playing very well. Better pass from Silla. Easier serve. It's <laughs> the other part of the game. So you've got Silla one side, you've got Igoni the other side. There is no respite for the Serbian players, but they're handling it. Super spike. But watch a jackknife on this super spike. Zic's not happy. Oh, lovely block. That's a great track from Bozzetti outside. The players swing block at this level, so they have to block like they're spiking. Swinging to the side, swinging the arms up and around and over the net. But that means you're travelling, so it's quite difficult to get the timing right here. But watch Bozzetti go, tracks it, freezes it, points the hands back in the court. Good stop on the slide D of Alexic. Silla serves. Decent pass from Lazovic. Oh dear, no, that hasn't worked. Free ball. Slide for Ciriciela. Straight into the block. Great shutdown from Serbia. Start to this game. Good pass from Di Gennaro. Gonu, back line. Wales. That's brilliant. Get an appreciation, don't you, from the shot from the back of the court, just how high she's jumping and just how much space is left to her once she's there. The net not even in that picture for most of it. Pretty intense stuff out there. Good 
shot. Really good shot from Lazovic. Privilege for these young players to be out there testing themselves against the best in the world. And Lasovic coming through with flying colours at the moment. Cicciella couldn't bring it back into play. Not great from Italy. It's a free ball, Serbia. touch anything ref says no lines judge says no so Terzic says let's have a look at that one so challenge first one of the game so challenge is per set if you win the challenge you keep it challenge is did this touch the block although I think Zolin Terzic is just using this as a, a way of slowing the game down oh no look at that it has caught the fingernail of the right index finger on the block. That's remarkable. Savic then, the eyes of an eagle. New player on court, Savic to serve. The Italian pass is struggling. Thank goodness they've got an outlet in Igoni. Serbia know where it's going, they just can't stop it. It's an incredible arm swing, just such torque when she takes the arm back. Be fast as well. But it doesn't matter. Gono doing a level best here. Serbia still lead, but lead comfortably. Merkovic to serve. Looking like it's going to be the first set to Serbia. Good slow down block. Lazovic. No, stopped. Good attempt to get that in play off the block, but no. Well, they had their chance. They got a good slow down on Egonu. Yeah, it's definitely hit the floor. To the front line. Four points for her at the moment, but her passing hasn't been great of the Serbian serve. Good touch. He got it. Oh. Just cuts it a little finer. And beats Lazovic cross court. Popovic forced to tip, and that's a wonderful pickup from Malinov. And then Igonu just spins it past the block. Lovely piece of spiking. Technically very proficient. And the ace serve. And Bozzetti turning it on at the service line for an ace. Italy back in this first set. What a turnaround. Time out for Zoran Terzic. Let's throw the dice for him. So young fans in to watch their heroines down there on court. Once again, it's a hotbed of Italian volleyball, Conegliano. It's a magnificent arena. Lovely, compact arena. And I'm not surprised it's a sellout to watch the World Championship rematch. Brilliant. Silla might have struggled on the pass, but she's been brilliant in offence. Pick up again, Di Gennaro and Bozzetti all over it. Silla crunches another one over and through and round the block. Lazovic removed from court, getting a bit of telling off for her troubles. I think Lazovic has been brilliant in this set. Kuzic 
beaten again. Well, Italy do this a lot. They just suddenly find a run of form. They did it at the start of the set, but this is where it really matters at the end. Now, watch this serve go. Oh, that's come down like a stone. And Popovic just getting in Pusic's way. Set points, plenty of them. Can Serbia save the first? Yes, they can. Lovely shot from Bielica off the arms of Igoni. But you know what's coming, don't you? The basics are Igoni in the front line. And they see replacement middle blocker comes back out. Couldn't quite affect the stop. Nagojevic in to serve. She's coming for Lasovic. Now, we all know where this is going. Malinov is going to set this to Egonu if she gets the chance, and she won't. Would you believe it? It's Di Gennaro that he's beaten by an ace serve. And we'll have to wait a long, long time before that happens again. This is a cracker from Blagojevic. What a substitution from Terzic. I wonder if that would have crept out over the baseline. 24 all, two clear points required. We play on. Good pass, Bozzetti. Iganu jumps out of the gym and missed it. Oh, wow. Now we might get a challenge. Iganu says it's touched. And I tell you what, it was a hell of a jump by the blocker if she has managed to touch this, because Iganu was way up there. Challenge by Italy. Davide Mazzanti, despite Iganu suggesting that challenge happens, he's gone straight over to his assistant coach to say, don't think it was a touch. Susana Rodriguez awaits the super slow-mo. You can see was one of the fingers caught. Now, we have to see that again. This is close, but not close enough. No touch. Serbia have set point. Unbelievable. What a first set. Lugojevic to serve again. She changed. And Terzic wondering the same thing. But using slightly different vocabulary. 25 all. Alberti. Good find. Nice dig from Bozzetti. Silla tips it. Easy read. And Bielica hammers it off the block. Second set point for Serbia. Great work from the Serbian captain. Lukanin was the libero on that last play, the 16-year-old for Serbia. But no libero on court at the moment for Serbia because it's Popovic with the serve. On the reverse to Igonu, she's got to hit this and she's missed it again. And that, in complete silence here in Conegliano, is the set to Serbia if this challenge isn't successful. Well, they got the last one wrong, they had a challenge left, so they might as well use it. But the Italians don't look very confident that this is going their way. And if Serbia have nicked this first set, then that is a great, great piece of volleyball from their team. So, did it touch? It certainly didn't. It was nowhere near. And Igonu, nowhere near her world best form at the moment in this match. Serbia pulling off a masterstroke there. Brilliant bit of work from their team. Wonderful work from Bielica. She held it all together with some superb kills, but excellently supported by the likes of Busak and Lazovic. Lazovic, their top scorer. She's been taken off. But the ball control for Italy let them down. It really did. Just not enough passes into Malinov for them to be able to run a consistent offense. For once, Gonu found wanting for Italy. The crowd. The Zoppas Arena left 
silent at the end of that first set. Well played, Serbia. 27-25. What a start to this game. What a first set. start to this match now let's take a look at the Italian spike contact points you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to work out which side of the court a gone in place because so many balls went there but look at the contact point that she's achieving and those higher balls on the left hand side those are the couple of spikes that she hit when she's on that one rotation but when it mattered under pressure with some really tricky sets to hit. Igoni wasn't able to find the court and Serbia pulled off a real shock in this first set. They lead Italy here in Conegliano. 27-25 set one. Teams change ends. And we'll be underway with set two very shortly in Zoran Terzic. Once again, watching the Serbian side leading against Italy. changes for Serbia. They brought Blagojevic in. She had a really good service run to get them back in it. And, uh, no, Blagojevic has left the court, so Lasovic number two back on. I'm glad to see that for the teenager because uh, six-point ball in the first set. Good return. A serve starts for Bozzetti. Well, once you give up your body position to the ball like that, it's tough to pass. That's better from Puzic. And that's brilliant from Bielica. What a shot. And the Serbian captain. Well, we know she's world class. She just happens to be playing volleyball in the same era as Tiana Boscovic. So getting caught, or getting caught time ahead of Boscovic is tough for Bielica, but she's still a brilliant player. Dear me, Italy's passing today has been shocking. He rescues it after a great pickup from Malinov. Yeah, nicely done. Serbia starting the second set in a very similar vein to the way they finished the last one. Alexic getting high. There's the Malinov pickup. Oh, that hit the floor. <laughs> well, I wonder if we'd have seen a challenge from Serbia if they'd lost that point, but it matters not. Popovic to serve, Serbia 2-1. Good ping pong, good pick up from Silla, but it's out. A nice finish from Busse. Serbia 3-1. Make a rally call, lots of contacts, lots of back and forth in the net. It doesn't always have to be a spectacular piece of defence. Sometimes you've just got to get the job done. And well, that's exactly what Bruce has done at the end of that rally. Oh, wonderful. No, missed it. 
Well, it was a great set from Malinov. And I'm not surprised we've got a challenge here. Now, what is the challenge? Is it going to be asking, did it touch the line? Or is it going to be asking, did it touch the block? I'd imagine it's going to be ball in, ball out. It is. What guy will tell us whether it was in, and it was. Never in doubt. Challenge from Guido Masanti. Really from where he was, you can't see that line. Just reacted because the players reacted. Good serve, Alberti recycles. Silla. It's not in, so did it hit the block? And Silla says she doesn't think it did hit the block, so we're not going to see another challenge from Italy, even though they've got two in the bank still. This is exciting stuff. Gone. She says in. Ref says out. Challenge again. It's going to have to be if they want the point. Two challenges in three points, and we could have had three challenges in three points, but for Silla saying she didn't think she won the point. So, ball in or ball out? Ball out. Good call by the officials. Italy lose a challenge. With it, the point. 5 2 Serbia. Timeout called by Davide Mazzanti. It's not happening for Italy at the moment. The Agonu signal to the referees that says ball in falls out. That's the reaction from Silla <laughs> on the Serbian bench. Take that one. The way these two teams are set up, you have to say that at some point Italy must come to life. At some point they must get the right ingredients out there on court. And when they do, has this Serbian team got enough to resist them? At the moment, Serbia on a great run. They're winning a lot of points, they're winning them quite easily. But the Italian service reception is very ragged. Ngonu's not finding the points, Silla's not finding the points. Remember, they've got Sodokaiti to go to on the bench if they need to. They've got Pietrini to go to the bench if they need to. Nice shot. That's hit very hard. Sometimes quite an awkward player to watch is Cristina Tiricella because she turns herself inside out on some of these hits. She falls over after she hits. But my goodness me, does she get the points? Oro is on for Malinov. Interesting change at playmaker. It's the double side, is it? No. Don is still on. Serbia. I tell you, Serbia pressing all the right buttons here. This is a really excellent controlled performance. And they're getting the job done on side out play one. So the scoreboard immediately ticks over. Back to the service line. Busa hits Silla. Italy still not passing well. Another point chance, Serbia. No. Back on offense from Busa. Trying the tip. I just can't get it over there. I've seen matches like this go to five sets many, many times. Even if Serbia go two up, I think there's still a chance for Italy to get it together down there on court. Good block. And is on the floor again. Usually the case for the attacking captain. 
but a monster block in the meantime. That was all the line, that was all Oro. Good serve. Well, Pusic not the tallest player on court by uh, any means, stands just uh, 1 meter 70. She's just been lobbed by Silla. That's a good serve. That is a really good serve. Nice pass, Serbia. Oh, great chase. Back it comes. Brilliant defence from Italy. Phenomenal response from Serbia and Lazovic. Amazing rally. Technical timeout arrives. 8 6. And the level in this game has not dropped at all. Serbia still playing some superb volleyball. team to stay in this uh, set long enough to find that magic component. It's going to click into gear at some point for Italy. Surely. I still think that if Serbia go two up, we are going to five sets. And for Serbia to stop that, they're going to have to play some amazing volleyball. Good try. High jumping Popovic against the even higher flying Ivonu. Oh, great shot. Maybe <laughs> jumping out the top of the camera angle from that net cam. No. It's just stuttering from Italy. Moments of brilliance cancelled out by some pretty abject passing and some poor serving. Another poor pass. And a miss from Lazovic. And sometimes it, that can be the incident. It can be that moment that just changes everything. Serbia have to just come back strong here. Golden opportunity, though, wasted to go three points up. Oro to serve. No, Lazovic has just lost her way a bit here. I think Lubojevic might be coming on sooner rather than later. Been so good up to that point, but a miss hit into the antenna. Still on court, Lazovic. Overpass. Italy's chance to go into the lead. Igonu. Oh, that's wonderful. She was nearly on the three metre line then. The ball behind her. It wasn't a great set from Oro. She couldn't get any sort of volition into the runner. And still manages to crack a super spike. 94.3 kilometers per hour. She's gone over the 100 kilometers per hour mark in this game once already. She's going to break the speed guns as well as the graphics. Sad će prva linija, ne smiješ da radiš to i to i tako dalje. Tako 
Might sound a bit stern sometimes, Terzic, but he knows his stuff. He's a really good coach. He also knows that youngsters, teenagers, do blow hot and cold during the course of the game. Lazovic is a, a real talent in the making, but she's going to have her ups and her downs, and at the moment, on a bit of a downward spiral. He's keeping her on court, though. It's good to see. Italy lead at last in this set. Good block, really good block. That's all about experience. Bozzetti and Alberti watching this all the way in. They knew this couldn't go anywhere except middle. So they waited, they jumped, and they timed it just about right. Berkovic's fault, not Popovic's fault at all. It's the fault of the pass that just drifted over, and Blagojevic is on. She's on for Lasovic. Bielitsa. And we've got to make sure we do not forget just how good Bielitsa has been in this game so far. The guy who's in double figures up to 11 points, the captain for Serbia on seven. But she's hit some really important side out plays. Lugovic with the serve. Good pass to Gennaro. Not put away. Point chance, Serbia. Great shot. I really enjoy watching Popovic play. She's just a jack in a box. Comes in and goes up so steep. And then that allows her to create those angles straight down. Hits a little steeply too much, uh, too often, but overcome. Silla, poor pass. And it's a backcourt setter, so no block can be formed. Oro jumping and waving her hand in the air is a fault as soon as that ball is hit onto the hand. Serbia back into the lead. Italy's pass still, well, shambolic to be honest. Service reception from Italy has been poor. Nagano has to do the job again, but no. Straight into Bielica, who continues to impress. Eight points for her. And that definitely qualifies as a monster block. Any shutdown on Igonu. Goes down as a cracker. A very good block. And a reminder, you don't just you don't have to jump high. You don't have to jump out of the gym on the block. You just have to penetrate the L'altra roba ci serve più qualità quando non le palle scontate. Ci siamo da aspettare un po' di più e essere più aggressivi. Lì dobbiamo bastonarle poi, eh? Dai, vai, via! Interesting from a coaching point of view how teams work out on court and how certain groups of players work ah, as a team. Set crowd here in the Zopas Arena stunned at the moment. I can't believe that they're watching this. Davide Mazzanti has had to blow both his timeouts, and we haven't even made the second technical in set two. Gregovic to serve again. Not for the first time. Decent service run. Poor pass, Silla. Gonu with another wild hit. It's out. It'll have to be a challenge from Italy. Fortunately, they've got a challenge left. Nagano being asked to hit some really tough balls to hit. Giving some horrible out of system stuff. So the challenge is did it hit the block or not? He's quite sure because the ball was travelling pretty sharpish and uh, Terzic keeping an eagle eye on the big screen. This does make a difference, you know. It's a third, third miss with no touch. <laughs> Popovic knew it. I still think that will emerge as a tactical play by blockers. 
looking sheepish, looking, you know, if you don't get called for the touch and you know you haven't touched it, why not look like you may have touched it and force a challenge to be lost by your opponents with a gamesmanship. Ligojevic from off the net, feeds it out to Busse. Oh, that's a magnificent kill. That is a really classy bit of spiking from Busse because that ball's travelled a long, long way. Come right across over her shoulder and she still nailed it past Di Gennaro. The touch signal from the referee. Bozzetti's lost her place on court. Lucia Bozzetti then benched. This is an interesting one. Indra Sorokaiti usually plays in the opposite position, but she's a very competent wing spiker. So the two big hitters, big scorers, are on court. And both Sorokaiti and Igonu can play as a service receiver swing hitter. So we're going to see a bit of freestyling now from this rotation. And what a start from the bench by Sorokaiti. She would have been disappointed not to start this match. She's hit a cracking line shot to get on the scoreboard. Now the jump serve. Off pace, well passed. Bielitsa, well blocked. Well, that was only going straight down because it was too close to Igonu. And if you imagine Paolo Igonu jumping and touching 321 on the block so she can get head and shoulders above the net, which allows her to reach right over and grab hold of the ball when she uh, sees it touched by the opponent. Spirited effort from Busa, but there's only going to be one outcome there. Italy on the comeback trail. Super touch from Di Gennaro. What a pick-up from the libero. Pietrini is in for Bozzetti. In for Silla, my apologies. Sarakaiti in for Bozzetti, and Italy have got a completely different look now to their team. So the two middle blockers the same, Igonu is on still, but they've changed. The two outside hitters, Bozzetti and Silla, have lost their place to Pietrini and Sorokaiti. And the setter, Malinov, has lost her place to Oro. And that one definitely touched the block. Of Sorokaiti has made all the difference, hasn't it? Oh, that's great shot, great pick up from Mirkovic on the uh, Serbian side of the net. Igonu reaches high, kills it. She's found it. She's found the groove, and I think this is it for Italy. This looks like the combination of players that can get the job done tonight. Full marks to Davida Mazzanti for being brave enough to make the changes. Ooh, Terzic not happy. That could be a card there for the uh, Serbian coach if he's not careful. Well, there we go. Sometimes you have a little dabble, you have a little punt on the uh, group of players out there. And Davide Mazzanti at the moment has pulled a masterstroke. Italy lead with Sarakaiti and Egonu out on the, on the floor. Well, some terrific pickups from Di Gennaro. And it's just changed things. All dimension, the whole feel for Italy out there on court has changed. So because Davide Mazzanti is willing to take a bit of a risk and bring on a slightly out-of-the-box substitution, Sorokaiti on for Bozzetti. It's her services that are doing the damage. Right stuff. Pietrini with the put away.
In all honesty, it was a matter of time. It was a matter of uh, Mazzanti taking the risk and putting the players in early enough to see what worked. And this looks like it's working for the moment. That's not to say Serbia can't come back. Terzic forced into a timeout. Aces from Solakaiti, it's just heavy pressure serves. It's producing overpasses, it's producing free balls. It's not allowing Serbia to run their offense. Exactly, and it should be. It's to be back in. Serve, nice pass from Ribeiro. It's the youngster on court, Goncani, the 16 year old. Another point chance here. Egonu, no, backline offense, Solakaiti, she's dug. Great work from Blagojevic. Busa, that looked like it caught the hands, and it did. That's that problem that Alberti has of just not quite getting high enough in the block sometimes. Brilliant pick up from Blagojevic. It was a good set, it was the right decision from Oro to go to Sodakaiti. with their noses in front are going to be tough to break down. They've always got the outlets, and now they've got Sodakaiti on court as well. The firepower on the floor at the moment for Italy, astonishing. Piotrini, Egonu, Sodakaiti. Good dig, wonderful stuff from Ora. Piotrini lashes it from wide. Good save from Murkovic. And they can go again. Busa roofed! Superb block. She hit that very, very hard, but it just wouldn't go through the arms of Paola Egonu. Straight down. The old phrase used to be, that's gone down your socks, and that nearly did. What a stop. Fearsome stuff from Egonu. Italy rolling. And it's all down to a couple of clever substitutions from the coach. And those players backing him up. Sarakaiti getting a bit handcuffed. Well, you might think it's a pretty obvious decision to have Egonu and Sarakaiti out there on the floor, but very specifically, they play right side, both players. That's what they're training to do. That's where they play most of their volleyball. So it's a bit of a risk to ask Sarakaiti to come into the passing unit. She is going to be a target for Serbia. Put away. Good take from Diginaro. He's going to try and cover Sobakaiti as much as she can. So that the number one doesn't have to pass too many balls. And that's the trade off. Can Serbia cause Indra Sobakaiti more problems on her service reception than Sobakaiti can cause Serbia on her attacking? That will be the question. Big jump serve. It's not going to be easy to get back. Gono has landed. Sorokaiti and Pietrini look at home out there on court. Oro doing a very good job as the playmaker for Italy. Great serve. Great serve. Proper ace. Well, it's, it's good to get the touched aces, but to actually nail it into the court. 109 kilometers per hour. And it's almost impossible. If you're out of position as a passer, it's almost impossible to make a pass on that ball. 18 points for the number 18. Two serve aces in a row. Oh, wow, welcome to the big time for the Serbian libero. And she's come off court now, the 16-year-old. This is frightening. Oh, dear me. She will not have faced anything like this in training. Off pace. Pusic passes it. Busa, way out. Italy just steamrolling Serbia now. 
Well, we've seen it before. That great call from the Russian coach in the Olympic final of 2016 to put Mazersky from middle to opposite was genius. And uh, this call by Mazanti to get four players onto the court has been very good as well. And everything is now working absolutely to the script. Pala Egonu from the service line, just sending those thunderbolts across the net. And in the blink of an eye, with a couple of very clever substitutions, Italy now are the team. I always enjoy watching those uh, highlight reels in between the sets, but that one was brilliant. That just summed it up perfectly. That's exactly how that set went. 25-17, once Italy got the right players on court in the right places. Well, it was academic. And they look like a totally different team now. It's not to say Serbia are out of it. It's not to say Serbia can't still win this match. But Anna Bielica, their captain, knows just how well they're going to have to play if they're going to get close to Italy from here. Oro stays on, Pietrini stays on. I would imagine Sodakaiti will still be out there, as will the rest of those players that made it all happen. Change it to middle blocker for Serbia. So Maja Savic is in. Hold on, reverse to Egonu. No, it's not been great on those uh, balls today. Needs it, the ball in front of her. And that's the point. If you've got a player that touches 344, I mean, are you kidding me? 44 centimetres above a basketball ring. If you've got a player that can do that, set them on the net. Get them to go over the block. Good start from Serbia. Brilliant from Popovic. Sorokaiti shut down on the back line. Very good read and a really nice blocking pattern. Serving as well from Savic. So handy start for Serbia in set three. Pietrini, latest player to try a hand at the side out. She gets it. What a treat for Pietrini to be out there, the 19-year-old, with some world-class attackers. She's not far off joining the club. Alberti to serve. Good serve. Nice pass from Brozovic, still on the floor. And Gonu is beaten again by Lazovic. Pleased that for Lazovic that she's out there again, but it means that Brusa has to take a seat for set three, for the start at least. Berkovic to serve for Serbia. Nice start, good recovery from what must have been a shot in the back third of that second set. And absolutely steamrolled. This is a great game to watch, it really is. wasn't a thunderbolt, that was just a very clever spinning serve. Targeted the sideline and just said to the passer, go on, then try and pass this back in. 
it's all relative, isn't it? That was probably still close to 100 kilometres per hour. Changes the angle. No. I don't know why players do that. Honestly, <laughs> must send coaches demented. She just hit an ace from the, from the right side of the baseline and then walked all the way over to the left side and missed. There we go. She knows. Good serve, Lazovic. Well passed, Pietrini. That's what Italy have been missing in this game. Stable service for second. Can't emphasise how important that is to win in volleyball matches. Chiritella, the Italian captain, enjoying herself down there. Pietrini to serve. That's nice, that's a really good pass from Kuzic. A little bit tight, so Merkovic forced to set one-handed. But what a wonderful arrival for the super spike. And that's what you need your middle player to do, accelerate into the ball that's tight. And Popovic just jumps out of the gym, that is phenomenal. What a kill. Di Gennaro beaten again. Nice pass. Oh, wow. And um, Blagojevic gets a piece of it. That was a really good pass as well from uh, Sorokaiti, the makeshift wing spiker. And a monster block for Blagojevic. Watch her reach over here. That's brilliant. Really good hands and arms pointing back into court. Good serve, Popovic. Di Gennaro controls it. And a sneaky little over on two from Otto. Ooh, pesky setters when they do that. That is very annoying. Serbian players won't be happy about that, but it's ever so difficult to stop. Nice dig. Not saved. But, uh, another go for Serbia, Bielica. And uh, she's now onto the score sheet. And set three. This is a super contest. And uh, the workload being shared pretty evenly by Serbia. Another great lashing spike, 82.8 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, Agonu was rather blitzed everyone else's stats at the moment. With a 106 kilometer per hour serve. Sarakaiti operating from the left side of court, so not a familiar zone for her. Nice hit from Bogojevic. Smiles through the net at Oro. To confirm that you are in my pocket. I think we might see a challenge, though. Yeah, it is a challenge. So Italy don't think this touched the block. Bogojevic seems pretty confident that it did. It's the smiling and talking through the net afterwards. And it's quite an important one as well, because it's a three-point advantage, potentially, for Serbia going into the first technical timeout. And they've done a wonderful job getting the pressure back on this new group of Italian players. And the last thing Davide Mazzanti wants is this next set of players not functioning. Because where does he go to after that? Still go back to Bozzetti. Definitely, I don't think Silla will be coming back on the court. She just has a coat for the service. And, uh, keeping us waiting. I thought Blagojevic, the way she hit it, the way the ball travelled after it went past the block, indicated a deflection. Let's see if it did deflect. No. No, no touch. Amazing. Davide Mazzanti, oh no, no, the referee says it did touch and disagreeing with the video evidence. That's bizarre. That is absolutely bizarre. And the crowd here in the arena, not happy at all. And neither is Davide Mazzanti. That is a huge call from the first official, essentially overruling 
the video judge, and I thought the evidence there was clear that that did not touch the block. Unbelievable. It has gone Serbia's way. More importantly, Italy lose a challenge, so that could come into play later on in this set. Okay, quindi occhio quando inizia a giocare, ce l'hai lì davanti, bisogna che ci giochiamo bene, soprattutto sulla pallata ti verrà a cercare sporco, ok? Dai via! Bit of Iceland football fan chanting going on in the background, great stuff. That's well played actually by the announcer because uh, things could have got a bit ugly after that last call on the Hawkeye video replay. Italy have done the right thing, though. The decision's made. It's not going to get overturned. So accept it, play on, let the volleyball do the talking. Great dig. Oh, what a pick-up from Lazovic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'll be honest with you, we're pretty close to the Italian mountains, and uh, that came down with snow on it. That was a tough one to, to handle for Mirkovic. Here we go. Got to be touched simultaneously by both hands. That was the set from Oro. Very good one. Follow-up not so good from Mirkovic. Back line, great. What a shot from Bielica. If you're a, a professional coach with a team that needs an opposite spiker and you've got a checkbook and a bit of money in the bank and you're watching this match, one of the players you'd be making an offer for, without a doubt. Bielica moves to nine for the game. Lazovic on 10, Busa on 9, Popovic 6. Good scoring from Serbia. Great shot from Piotrini. Club Italia player. It's a wonderful setup in Italy. This uh, Club Italia team plays in the top division. Got a lot of young players coming through the system who wouldn't necessarily get court time in bigger teams. So they get the experience. If they get the development, then they get signed. Slide attack, well picked up. Petrini tries to knock it over. And into court, but no, another point goes to Serbia. Just looking at the uh, Italian statistics and the scoring on that side of the net, Iconu is just streets ahead of everyone else. 20 points, nobody else in double figures. Gia Bozzetti on eight, but she's on the bench. Good leave. Great look from, uh, from the Barrow. And that's the service rotation that caused some problems for Italy at the start. Savage missing though on this occasion. So Italy take the ball back. Good blocking line up here for the Italians. Great touch. Great touch. Bielica. Yeah, well played. She's just getting the job done. Plays her volleyball in France. There's Bielica. The Valero Cannes Club. That was the remarkable pick up the start. And unfortunately for Italy, Alberti couldn't make it happen again. Ganu's wild from that side tonight. Her right side hitting has, has been a, a little bit fragile, to say the least. Serbia doing a brilliant job here. Which to serve, 12-8. Long. Looking around to see if anybody wants to support her on a challenge, and uh, taking a step back, including coach Zoran Terzic. No challenge. Here we go, this is how set two finished, with Agonu just bombing jump serves repeatedly. And again, great control from Serbia, chance here. And Bielica is out, but she's touched the block on the way. Now, Italy may challenge here. Oh, goodness me, this is going to be interesting. 
This is going to be very interesting. Here we go, referee. Have a look at the video again. And what would you like to do this time? Pressure's on. And it's not going to be on a touch. It's going to be on ball in or out. So that must be the referee's decision that it was in. And it is out. Italy's point. You can't overrule that. This is conclusive. Good challenge from Italy, they uh, hang on to it. Terzic doesn't agree. Yeah, he does. Just about creeps over the serve. Well controlled, Bielitsa again, but slowed down. Point chance, Italy. Iganu. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, Puzic just taking one for the team there. Quick apology from Pala Iganu. Hundred and two point six kilometers per hour. As I heard a player say through the net the other day in a match, would you like me to get you a doctor? After a very solid spike hit someone. Great shot. You can just see the players respond a lot better to Zoran Terzic when he is in coach mode. He's giving them technical information, they love it. Really listen. He's uh, just telling them off then. He's done always look as positive as that last one. Still in the balance, set three. But the service from Paolo Agonu has recovered the situation partially. Good serve, good ace. see the contact on this one to be absolutely sure she meant this oh, she did she did wrapped it round took a bit of pace off just took 10 clicks off it and got the ace 12 all oh wow that is a super hit but it's out not sure David Mazanti fancies the challenge here but He's been forced into the decision because Agonu says, it's in, you challenge. And Mazzanti says, OK, we'll go with it. But if they lose this one, then they've lost their second challenge. So the call is ball in or ball out. At the moment, it's Serbia's point. Won't make too much of a difference, whichever way, but it means Italy don't have a challenge left. See, that is... That's a bit wild and woolly from the Italian team. And the problem is for them, if now on set point, the call goes against them, they can't review it. They can't challenge anymore in this set. 14-12 serve, Lasovic serves. Good pass, Pietrini. Oh, great chase. But Oro doing enough. Quick thinking from the setter. Now, David Mazanti, I think, just asking if they've still got a challenge left, even though we saw the referee overrule on that last one. And, and second official, Machanov, saying, no, referee's overruled that challenge, he lost it. Yeah, no challenges remaining for Italy, and David Mazanti realises that that could be an issue. There are scenarios in which that could be a problem for Italy at the end of this set. Challenge is renewed when you go to your new set, you get your two challenges back again. And, uh, I don't think he'd have used that challenge if he realised that that meant it was all done. This is coming back. Pusic thumps it over. Great pass to Gennaro. Egonu, all over. And that's what I mean about Paolo Egonu's hitting. It's got to be in front of her. The ball has to be there in front of her, and she will marmalise it. Wonderful play from Blagojevic. 
that's real commitment from the 30 year old and that is real volleyball from Paola Egonu Serbia, but again, really well patrolled at the net by Italy. Always had a reputation for being very well organised in the block, the Italians. They do a lot of work on it, a lot of technical work on it with youngsters coming through the ranks. Ligojevic, off pace. That's a pretty good pick up from Petri. Fascinating encounter, Serbia and Popovic with the serve. Sadakaiti off the hands and out. It'll take her a little while just to settle in left side. She does hit one rotation there in the regular rotation when she plays opposite. But that's a lot different to staying there for the whole game and that's a really nicely hit ball. Definitely done. Well, Egonu, we've already said he's a different class and if you can hit and block like that was going to be valuable to a team some of the shots she's played in this set amazing it makes the shot she misses stand out a mile i think that's part of agonu's problem and we forget the fact that she's already killed or created 23 points 14 of those on successful spikes three stuff blocks six aces it's crazy stuff Chiricella serves for Italy, two-point lead in set three. Lugojevic hits straight onto the Italian captain, and that's not a great set for Moro. Lugojevic off pace, clever. Clever play, no, no, no. Well, I think that was down, and I, I think we'll see a challenge from Serbia, just to confirm that. Floor touch. Floor touch would be the challenge. I can't believe Serbia aren't going to get this one. I don't think the Italian defender got a hand completely under the ball, so by the time it compressed, it might have touched the floor. Goodness me. I mean, that's not even close to the hand. Not even close. Serbian point. Yeah, unfortunately, one hand, one bounce doesn't count in uh, volleyball. a little bit confused by all of this but it's uh, the correct challenge and it's the correct outcome oh dear that's Serbia's point as well and two very quick scores for them Sonakaiti collapses into the net set too tight it's not her fault she had to go after the ball but virtually impossible to play that Yelitz to the serve 16 all no, to the business end now of this third set. And uh, that's the first mistake we've seen from Bielica for a very long time. This game, Oro then to serve, good blocking line up for Italy, next three rotations, that bodes well for the Azzurri. Bielica going for the hands and missing, and it's missed the call as well. Italy restore the two-point lead. This is surely now going to be their set from here. Can Serbia change that? They need the side out. Ball to Bielica again. Great pick-up from Di Gennaro. 
Blagojevic missed it. No touch. They'd have to challenge if they want to see whether this did hit the block, but Blagojevic immediately looks to her coach and says no. Now, just see what happens here. Yeah, the goddard takes her hands away. That's a clever piece of play. She knew Blagojevic was going to hit it high and slow and try and get the touch. Timeout to Serbia. Music background. Circus of the Gladiators, if I'm not mistaken, although I probably am. Not great with the, the tunes sometimes, but it's certainly a gladiatorial battle down there. Djokovic <laughs> having been a little embarrassed by Gonu's last play, this time makes sure the hands are there and hits them. <laughs> she enjoyed that one. Italy lead, Blagojevic serves Pietrini, trouble, Igonu can sort it out though, great dig Puzic, Lasovic blocked, she goes again, Doug, well forced on the set from Oro, but Serbia can still win the point, oh brilliant, Bielica, stopped by Igonu, no, it doesn't come over. What a rally. What a rally. And that was top draw mega rally volleyball from both teams. The pickup from Di Gennaro on the floor and still managed to get herself to the ball. Fantastic chase from Oro. Agono absolutely pummels it. Puzic deals with it. Now look at this from Di Gennaro. <laughs> Down, but not out. Great stuff. And then the block to finish. World-class women's volleyball right here on the VNL. Brilliant. Now, just when you think you've got rid of Paola Rigonu from the service line for a while, look at that. Sodakaiti pops up and hammers one. Great pass. Point chance again, wide to Pietrini, she's blocked. Oh, that's a brilliant piece of work from Savage. Monster block. Every point at the moment, a cracker. Good extension, good swing, lovely timing from Savage with the press. And Savage to serve. Good pass to Gennaro under pressure, Pietrini from off the net, they get a reuse. Di Gennaro goes to Agonu. No, again, the ball behind the shoulder. Can't challenge, but they get a touch called, so it will be Serbia. The need to challenge if they don't think this touched the block. Can't see any movement towards the button from Zoran Terzic. So just must have clipped the ball, I love the evasive action from the end line judge. Good shot, oh, it's a cracker from Latovic. Well, every left side player needs this in their armory, especially the righties. You've got to go in on the diagonal, drive in and convince that block you're going to pound it on the cross court and then swing across your body to the line. Out comes uh, Emilia Danasiewicz. It's a very brief double sub. Kuruba, Kuruba, sorry, off the court as well, so that double substitution reversed. It's Bielica and Murkovic back onto the court. Oh, shank pass from Pietrini. And Serbia's chance here to get back in this set. Timeout by Davide Mazzanti. 
and the ball control issue comes back to haunt Italy. Completely the wrong time in set three. Just uh, affected, I think, by Chiricella running across it. Actually ended up facing out of court rather than facing back towards the setter to deflect the ball and pass. Some worried faces in the crowd again. Big point in this set. Very good serve, very good pass, Pietrini. Can't put it away. Oh, but Lazarevic can. In off the wing for a fantastic spike. Super spike from Lazarevic, and the 19-year-old has done it again. How about this? What a play. Completely out of system. And made it look like a dream. We're all square. 25 points the target. What a service run this is from Merkovic. A serve. And that's where the problem lies. I spoke about it earlier. Sarakaiti, not a frontline passer, next to Pietrini, who's very inexperienced at this level. And this is a really good serving line choice from Merkovic. Three points in a row, the third of them an ace. And Italy in all sorts of bother now. Two aces from Merkovic. Boy, do they need a side out here. It's got to go to Agonu, surely. No, not put away. Lasovic again. Good dig from Di Gennaro. Wide to Pietrini. And she can't put it away. Blagojevic in the right place. Lasovic misses. Oh, that was a big, big point and a big shot for the 19-year-old. And as she tried to hit around the outside of the ball, to spin this into play, she's mishitting. Well, Serbia know they've got to get rid of this serve. Six aces already. No, I miss it. Wouldn't you know it? Unbelievable stuff. 23-22. Lasovic to the service line. Is that kind of game, isn't it? Enthralling. Better pass. Agonu, good shot. They've still just got those options, haven't they? Twenty-three all. Not set point just yet. Will be somebody's after this point is played here. Serbia to attack. Good dig. Point chance. Igono again. And they'll go once more. Igono for a third time, and she's missed it. Well, that's, that's a tough decision. We've seen what she can do from the backcourt, but she's not been as reliable today as she is, and with Sorokaiti out on the other side of the court, now the pressure's on. Where does Otto go? Does she go to Sorokaiti? Does she go to Egonu again? Sorokaiti it is, and Sorokaiti gets the job done. Set point saved. Two clear points required for the second time in this match, and we're only in set three. I have to say, Serbia have done a marvellous job to stay in this set. It's a wonderful kill. Oh. Captain Chiricella service line, so there's no libero on court for Italy, no Di Gennaro to hoover everything up. Good slow down block. Egonu gets it to Oh, it's an overpass though. No, it's Malinov back on court. My apologies. Egonu puts it away. What a shot, what a set. 
this is turning into an incredible battle. Malinov, new on court, 100 kilometers per hour spike again from Igonu. 25-24, second set point for Italy. On the reverse to Bielisat. And Captain Fantastic does it again. Not a massive score for at the moment for uh, Bielica. It's just when she's produced the shots. Under pressure like that, she's been amazing, despite the best efforts of Pietrini. Bielica to the baseline, 25 all. Great pass, Igonu. Doesn't get it down, what a pick up from Puzic. Oh no, and Lasovic once again misses. Third set point arrives. This is one of the pickups of the game. Look at this. Puzic launches herself. And then Lasovic waffles it out of court. 26 25. Third set point, Italy. Pressure. Blagojevic into the block and down. And Italy. Turn it around. In the first set, we had the same situation. Serbia won it 27-25. Italy, though, with this new group of players on court, win the third set by the same scoreline and go two sets to one up on Serbia. Well, breathtaking stuff, I have to say. This has been a marvellous match to watch. And it really is a superb advert for world-class women's volleyball. Alberti gets the block. Just. But Sorokaiti, Igonu, Pietrini all played their role in that set. And despite the very best efforts of a very good Serbian lineup, they just couldn't quite get it across the line. Italy then in the ascendancy here in Conegliano with a 2-1 lead and a much better mix of players out there on court, this is still going to be very, very tough for Serbia to win. The crowd look a lot happier, don't they, here in the Zopas Arena? And well, they might. This is a, a really, really good contest. We've still got a minimum of another set to go. Great stuff. marks to both teams. This is a, a real treat to watch this one. A few uh, trials and tribulations for Italy and a few changes of staff out there on the court, but you now they've got it rolling. They're playing very well in Serbia, to their credit. Bielica Lasovic just missing a few at the end of that set, which was a shame for the 19-year-old because she played brilliantly to that point. But, uh, a group of players out there for Serbia that wouldn't normally play together with the absence of uh, Rasic and Boscovic. But they are doing a fine job. But it's Italy, the home side, chasing another win on the VNL. This win, if they can get it across the line 3 1, 
and put them back to the top of the VNL table, currently occupied by Turkey, after USA's dramatic five-set loss to the Dominican Republic. And slipping under the radar, a serve from Sorokaiti to kick things off in set four. Overpass, and this could be a good start for Italy. Gennaro keeps it in play. And the put away is good from Lasovic. And there you go, there's the, the difference between a spike under pressure and a spike at the start of a set with no pressure. You can put those away, and Lasovic will learn. She gets better and better, she'll learn how to kill the ball in pressure situations. Italy lead 2-1, Serbia have done barely anything wrong in this match, they've had a brilliant game but still find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline at the moment. Yeah, good serve and Pietrini still finds herself under pressure, that's still the way into this match for Serbia. Keep trying to put the Italian service receive under pressure and you set her on court. Emilia Tanasiewicz goes for the Yerintsovo club in the Serbian Pro League, the 24-year-old setter. Doesn't have a lot of international caps, though. Not in double figures yet. Good slow-down block on Igonu. Tip to mid-court. Beautifully defended for Moro. Pietrini can't put it away. Chance for Serbia. Bielice. Blocked, but recycled. Igonu. Wide. Italy now remember back to their two challenges that they lost in the last set. In quite bizarre circumstances. <laughs> Who'd be a coach? The emotions that uh, they go through on the sideline. Very tricky. Sorted out at last by Pietrini. Much to the relief of the Italian crowd in Conegliano. It's an audible sigh as this one hit the floor. Alberti with the serve. Got Denesi on the bench, so they do have a, another tall middle blocker to go to if they want. Stuttering, stumbling start. Lucia Bazzetti making her way to the bench. Bazzetti might go to his senior wing spiker. That pass is still a concern. Sodakaiti overpasses. Oh, magic! Oh, oh, oh. wonderful stuff from Di Gennaro. Oh, and still they can't win the point. The FIVB have been discussing this particular play where you see something quite amazing on one side of the net, but that team still loses the point. There's no name for it in volleyball apart from uh, unlucky. Mega rally, and it's all down to one player for this mega rally. How about this for a double pickup from Di Gennaro? There's the first one. There's the second one. But a really good kill from Blagojevic. Classic Blagojevic, isn't it? Yeah, well played on the other side in the net. Let's just have the point anyway. 5-2 Serbia. Slide D option. Getting a bit crowded and a bit messy down there for Italy. Pietrini sorts it out with another powerful spike. serve what a great pass what a great dig from Gennaro again is it all over it and uh, Blagojevic just collapsing into the net that was unlucky for Serbia 
I think she's okay. I don't think it's an ankle injury or anything. Uh, lands, gets bumped, tries to limbo out the way, but no. on it capable basically of winning the match from the service line on her own it's a wonderful effort to bring it back into play but this time Puzic just can't control the pace and if you set up in the wrong place you can't then change the ball's traveling too fast remarkable serve So if we see another ace, I'm pretty sure Zoran Terzic will go to a timeout. 27 points the haul at the moment. And no other Italian player in double figures. Great pass, Blagojevic. Oh, that's brilliant from Serbia. What a shot from Popovic. But it was all down to the pass of the veteran wing spiker. Great feed from Tanasiewicz. Threaded skillfully past the block by Popovic, and she finishes up with an ace. And uh, quite rightly, Davide Mazzanti, for the first time in this match, is a bit angry with Pietrini here. Surely that's going out. Surely. Counts as an ace, though, because it was touched. 7-5 Serbia. Definitely going out. <laughs> Smiling Pietrini back to the service line. And she's missed. <laughs> Eight six to Serbia at the first technical timeout. They are still giving Italy a really hard time there down the field. Different man today, Zoran Terzic. Knows his team, needs information. He's to bring it very calmly. Full marks to the youngster. To Lazovic, she's 19 years of age, and uh, she's done a great job for her Serbian team so far. 13 points then, puts her at the top of the scoring list for Serbia. Busa 9, Popovic 9, Jelica is 11. Gojevic coming on late to the action, gets 7 at the moment. Third serve missed in a row. Now we're going to have a challenge, are we? We've had a, a bit of everything today on the uh, technology. We've had a referee in the first game, referee Berkovic, overruling himself twice. And then we've had referee Rodriguez overruling the Wukai pictures in this game. Snake stuff. All of which has added to a really good spectacle. Giovicella, ace. Yelitsa got out the way, Puzic got out the way. They should have played it. So easy to save from the commentary box, of course. Two aces in a row for the Italian captain. Eight all. Balanced position in the air, and she just dropped that over the net. Giovicella moves to nine. 
those two aces just happened. Oh, three aces! It's a hat trick for the Italian captain. Slightly strange one, just touches the net as it goes through, and complete confusion with the Serbian passing lineup. Gives it the old telemark landing to celebrate. Lasovic dug by Gonu. Backline offence, Pietrini, nice put away. Italy have control. Zola Terzic says, I've seen enough, time out. Might not be as calm in this one. Lovely finish on the pipe attack by Pietrini. Two blockers to beat as well. Service run continues. Rotiericella. No, it doesn't. Hat trick of aces though in that service run from the Italian captain. That's enough. Damage is done. Ligojevic. No, that's not coming back. Ligojevic had already committed to the dive. And the captain, Bielica, just touches it out of her way. You've got to try and play that. You can't leave it and assume the player's there, but Ligojevic would have made that. Tight. Defended, brilliant from Oro. Oh, and Di Gennaro can't get to that one. We've seen some fantastic defence in this match, both sides of the net. Both Liberos, Di Gennaro and uh, Pusic have been magnificent. That's a nice tip. It's Di Gennaro. One of the most capped Italian players in the squad at the moment. Welcome return to duty this week, the 32-year-old from the Conegliano club, incidentally, so playing on home turf. Well, that was played according to the referee, Rodriguez. That was played in Serbian airspace. Very good one-handed set, but she's absolutely right. It's a beautiful set as well for Mora. Played in the wrong part of the court. Uh, knocks Pietrini over. Egonu is blocked. Oh, what a stop. That's superb from Popovic. Monster block from her. You have to reach so high to get hands on Egonu. And then to make it go down, that's impressive. That is really impressive from Popovic. Nice smile from Egonu. We're back to level 12 all. Oh, this match deserves to go to five sets, doesn't it? It really does. Serbia have certainly played well enough. But you can't always script sport. Good pass. Gone in. Thumps it away. Some of those earlier misses have just, have just led to Agonu just adjusting the radar and hitting a bit steeper. That's why Serbia have blocked her a couple of times. But that one just pinging off the uh, blocker's hands. Blagojevic is so upset with himself. I'm not playing that. 13 12 it's here. Sorokaiti, more service pressure. Good shot. It is an unorthodox hitting style, Popovic. It's not perfect. But if 
it ain't broke, as they say. She gets up high, she gets her arm, arm up high, she almost just wrists the ball. It's a really strange hit. But it works. Tanisiewicz then the set her on court, replacing Murkovic. She's done a good job. So it's Pietrini. Better pass. Egonu. Just a lovely off-pace swing, deliberately going off the fingers. see the challenge, no, Locker knows they've touched it, yeah, clearly off of Lazovic's hand. Italy get their noses in front again. Oh, straight down, bit of neck, bit of block, I think, but all Italy's point. Chiri Chiara. Next to Agonu, that's Italy's tallest block out there on court. Love hand, the hand position that Ciricella uses. In fact, it was all her, not really involved at all. Only after the block. Super shot. What a shot. Lasovic just going full tilt at this one. Absolutely nothing the cross court defender could do about it. 1.3 kilometers per hour. Lasovic has lashed that one. He goes back to the service line to try and score another one. One point in it. Italy attack through Pietrini, but they can't put it away. Serbia to draw level. Easy read for Di Gennaro. Oh, that's a great. No, it's not. It's missed. I thought that was a good shot off the block. But Pietrini has overturned that one. It sideways, 15 all. Goni was available on the reverse against Blagojevic, but instead, Otto chooses to go to Pietrini, and the 19 year old has missed it. No, Shank pass, and two quick points means Serbia go to the second technical timeout with the lead. And this is set up brilliantly for the business end of this fourth set. Superb effort for Morrow to get there, but no, that is not going to happen. Fantastic contest continues deep into the fourth. So we can take it all the way here. Unbelievable. We waited all week for Zoran Terzic to smile and he can't stop now. He's having a great time down there. Really enjoying his coaching today and he's really enjoying this team performance and, and he should be. It's a fantastic effort from Serbia. And once again, it is Christina Tiricella that gets in the way of Pietrini. She's got to watch that. She's got to get off the net to come back in and hit the number 10 for Italy, but she's going right in front of the 14. And Pietrini having trouble seeing the server here. Oh, and another ace! Well, they stacked it round to try and protect Pietrini a little bit, and Lasovic realised that, realised Paolo Egonu was exposed in the back line. She's not a passer. She's hit an absolute cracker of a float serve off the arms of Igonu. Goes to Igonu again, better pass. And Pietrini sorts it out. Italy happy to change things up there to make that happen. But again, it was uh, edge of the seat stuff. Good swing. Masovic, unlucky, but she's done a team a lot of favours there. Couple of very good serves. Talking of very good serves. 29 points and seven aces for Igonu. What a pass from Puzic. Yeah, it's sir. No. And Serbia need to get Paola Igonu away from the service line. 
Otherwise, this could get messy. Cracking block. But it was out of system for Serbia, so the blockers knew where the ball was going. What a wonderful shutdown from Kiritella, the Italian captain. 17 all. He's gone in high toss. Big top spin onto Bogojevic. Out of system again, Serbia. Blagojevic, oh, great shot. That's a fantastic kill from Blagojevic. She does fit the journeyman player bill. Does Blagojevic, but she's got some serious skills. No challenge from Italy because it's in. Popovic serves, no, into the net, 18 all. Well, first thing she's done wrong for a while as well. She's had another good game as the number five. Rusic back in for passing duties. Petrini slides the serve to Blagojevic. Good pass, Blagojevic off the wing and just gets it off the block and out. She's having a cracking game, is Blagojevic. Nicely done, so not wrapping the hand right across the top of the ball, hitting it. It's with a bit of backspin off the block, great stuff. Tip, oh, too easy. Too easy for Sonikaiti. There really was only one shot she could play and only one area she could tip it. She found it nicely. Now comes Ola. In comes uh, Malinov. She's on for her block. And she's on for the fact that she'll be next round at the service line. She's got a decent jump serve. A big call though from Mazzanti. Good dig. That's a brilliant piece of work. An embarrassment of riches there in the front court. Sodakaiti wide and then a backcourt option with Igonu. And Alberti in front of her, so options, 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 and a very good ball into it. Sodakaiti it is that gets the flat, fast set. And the eyes are burning. 2019 Italy. Kiritella. Another good serve. Well passed though. Backline offense. Bielica. Great shot. What a kill. Well, your indicator here is does the crowd in the Zoppa Serena go completely silent? If they do, Serbia have just hit a great shot. 93.8 kilometers per hour on the speed gun. No wonder Murkovic off the, off the call at the moment is shouting. Great shot from the Serbian captain. Decent pass, Sodakaiti. She puts a dent in the floor. Super spike from the normally right-sided opposite spiker. And she has absolutely flown there. 92.6 kilometers per hour. Both teams raining some serious spikes down on each other. In for the pass, Lasovic, good. Backline offense, Bielica is good. 21, 21. Silence again. Greets a fantastic hit from the Serbian captain. We're going to the wire in set four. Serbia take it to a tiebreaker. In set five. Savage into the net. Two service errors from the two middle blockers. Popovic and Savage with the errors. 22-21. Back round comes Sodakaiti for her jump serves. There's only a couple of uh, Respites before you've either got Sodakaiti or Oigonu at the service line. Sodakaiti in his top spin jump serve. It's way long. It's 
22 all. Amazing. He was brought in as a blocking substitution, but the serve not in court, so not, a, not used. Back in comes Alberti. Good line up here, and Tanasevic in the back line, so this is all good for Serbia. Bielitsa now in the front court. Viganu off the block and out. And Italy need her now. I think we'll see Viganu fed a couple of balls here to finish this match. If Italy can get it into transition off their own serve. Fine kill off Lasovic. Alberti with the serve. Pass Pusic, Popovic on to Otto. Pietrini, oh, this is, oh dear me. You choose your words carefully here because uh, the player's under pressure down there, but Cinicella, if she could have that back, she wouldn't do that again. Gonu and Pietrini both available, she's bumped it into the antenna. 23 all. Great game for the 19 year old Lazovic, 16 points to her name. She make an even bigger name for herself now with a couple of serves. Good pass, Di Gennaro. Igonu finishes. Well, I told you she was going to get a few balls at the end of this set. And now she can finish it right here. Timeout, Serbia. What a good call from Zona Terzic. He was keeping that up his sleeve for precisely this moment. Well, he's talking, but this has nothing to do with the tactics. It has everything to do with making Carla Egoni think for another 30 seconds before she hits her serve. Chitty and the fans here in Conegliano are hoping will be the serve that ends the game. What does she do? Does she go flat out? Does she go up over the 100 kilometers per hour? Or does she control it and try and hit a line? Carla Rigonu with Italy at match point. She hits the big one. Pusic gets it into the setter. Blagojevic is dug. Rigonu, it's over. Italy do it in four and take maximum points from their last game in week two on the VNL. But what a game that was. That'll be well worth a rewatch at some point because there was so much to enjoy. Plenty of drama. Momentum swinging back and forth and world-class players operating at the highest level. That's the VNL for you. And that's why it's going to be another great summer. Well, all smiles down there on court. Both teams know each other pretty well. And for this group of Serbian players, there's a, a whole host of them that wouldn't normally start when the superstars are available. But they've done a great job, led by captain Anna Bielica, and their coach knows it. So Terzic will be very pleased with his players today. For the Azuri, though, it's a win that should take them to the top of the table on the VNL. After that 3-2 loss to the USA, they reverse the result from the World Championships in 2018 to beat Serbia this time around. Well, Paolo Ragonu had her moments, missed a few today. But when it really mattered, she applied the hammer. Good dig from Di Gennaro. what a game she's had in defence. And there we go, off the block of Blagojevic and into the antenna. It's a good try. But Agonu just had too much. Well, she was ill yesterday, so couldn't play against the USA, but if Paola Agonu stays fit for the rest of this summer, she could be the key to Italy winning the VNL. Certainly on their way to qualification. Serbia 
they could make it. They've got players to call in still with uh, Tiana Boscovic and players like that to come back into the mix. But for the moment, it's Italy and this fantastic set.